Hey guys, Pogosic29 here. Welcome to episode 10 of Magic Battle. I know it's been a very long time since I made a video, but I've been extremely busy. Uh, my quarter just ended, but I still have a few tests that are going to happen starting tomorrow. And uh, I've, I've been having a lot of homework. I had about three or four hours straight of homework today. So as you can tell, I've been very busy and unable to make too many videos. Now there are some holidays coming up, like Thanksgiving and uh, the winter break, so uh, I, I haven't left YouTube. I'm not stopping. I will definitely continue to make videos, and I know it's been a while and I'm sorry. Now, I know that you guys were expecting a uh, live stream, or at the very least a video, showing me... Uh, debugging it and testing it. Uh, over the past few days, I have tried to find some time to um, to uh, try to debug the uh, code. I even made a live stream last weekend, but it just didn't work out. The program was glitchy, and the sound wasn't working, and uh, that got messed up. So I scrapped that idea, and I said, I'm just going to have to try recording it with uh, screen flow and uploading it later so that so it wouldn't be live but at least I would have something but I just couldn't find the time to do it so today I finally sat down for a little bit and started working on the plugin but I just couldn't get uh, people couldn't get enough people to uh, go onto the server uh, I couldn't really test it I did fix a few a few small problems but it still doesn't work yet so here's what I'm going to have to do and let me know what you guys think about this I have posted all of the code for Magic Battle here on GitHub uh, at my YouTube repository at the Magic Battle repository. And this link will, of course, be in the description. Now, uh, this code is basically the, la the code from the last episode with a few bugs already fixed. So um, if you go ahead and explore through here, you will see all of the Magic Battle code that has some changes made to it. I'm going to have to ask a favor. Um, I, I don't know if I can find enough time to uh, debug the code and add features, so uh, I'm trying an initiative that I'm calling Cooperative Debugging. And as you can see um, right down here, uh, basically what I'm trying to do is get some developers, other developers, and I guess all of you that watch my videos are kind of developers. So all of you to fork the repository, uh, make some changes, fix some bugs, and then make a pull request. And what this basically means is uh, you would go ahead and create a GitHub account. It's free, of course, and very secure. Uh, GitHub is a great website. You would go up here and click fork, and what that would do is it would copy everything from this repository to uh, a repository under your name. So instead of Pogosic 29 dev where you can't edit, it would be under your name and you can edit whatever you want. Then you could download a zip of the uh, repository and do some editing. Then you can use a program like SmartGitHG to um, push the code up. Then you would create what's called a pull request and um, you would make a new pull request. And basically that would be saying Hey, can you uh, can you uh, take some of the code from my re my repository that I changed and pull it into your repository? So if you fixed a bug and you made a pull request, then I could accept it, and then your code would be merged into the main repository. Now, if you don't know how to do this, like downloading and uploading the code, I do have a GitHub tutorial series. I think it's only two videos, but and I'll probably add some more videos to that. But I do have a tutorial series that will teach you how to. Um, download, pull from a repository, and push to a repository, which is very helpful. And uh, so that's about it. Uh, I'm calling on all of you guys to please try, uh, even if you can only fix one small thing, maybe even a typo, or if you have a new feature you want to add. There are only two wands in the game right now. We could add some more. But if you guys could just work together to help fix this, and I will try to contribute whenever I can, it would be so helpful. Now, I'm going to try very hard to get some videos back out, but I need your opinion. I need to know what you guys are interested in. Um, 
I know that a lot of the a lot of you that watch um, my videos are Minecraft players, so I've been doing a lot of bucket related things, and I'm happy to go back to bucket. If you guys are interested in learning, um, you know more uh, like going back to the old bucket series that I always did, where I taught a new uh, kind of topic in each uh, in each episode. And if you guys are interested in that, let me know what you want to learn, and I will make some more videos there. Now if you guys are interested in basic Java, which I know it doesn't sound very exciting and it doesn't have to do with Minecraft, but in order to co code well uh, for Minecraft, you need to know your basic Java. And a lot of people that come here uh, start with no Java experience and they learn how to uh, code for Bucket with not really understanding how the Java works. And that was me. The whole reason why I started Java coding is because I wanted to uh, learn how to make Minecraft plugins. And I did that for a while, then eventually I kind of got a little bored of Minecraft. And I decided to stop. But of course I didn't get bored of coding and I wanted to uh, continue coding. So as soon as I took Bucket away, there really wasn't anything that I could do. I mean, I could print stuff out to the console, but I just didn't know how to do anything else. So I had to spend a lot of time uh, finding other video tutorials or online help and gradually learning. Now I'm pretty good with Swing, which is the uh, graphical user interface um, API for Bucket for making, like, you know, window pop-ups, kind of what you would think of in an application. And that's what I do a lot, but... Uh, if you guys are interested in learning the basic Java, um, we could start, uh, you know, I do have a Java uh, tutorial series on uh, on my channel, but it's pretty old, and I'm going to be honest, it really isn't very good. There are a lot of problems with it. So if you guys are interested, uh, we can do one or both of those ideas. Now, as far as uh, something like another mini game, um, if you guys are really interested, you can let me know. But I've already done two, and minigames are very similar with the arena structure, command structure, listeners, and everything. And I don't know if it's really worth it to make another game. Now, if you're interested in making another game, but there are certain things that you don't know how to do, I would be happy to make more bucket tutorials uh, that teach you know the general concept that you could that you could then apply to your games. But uh, I'm not too interested in making more game tutorials. So that is all for this episode. Uh, check out the repository in the description and see if there's anything you can do to help. Again, guys, I'm sorry, but I'm very busy. Uh, please also comment with what you're interested in. Plain Java, back to bucket, and what kind of stuff you want to learn in either topic. Uh, and uh, if you like this video, click the like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys as soon as possible, hopefully uh, some night this week. Goodbye.